In this video, I'm going to be going through how to calculate expectations, variances, and covariances given a probability distribution. Okay, so let's start, start off with the definition of expectation. So the expectation of any function is going to be simply going to be multiply the probability by the function and then you sum it up or all possible values of x. Okay, so x is in some sort of domain. If x is continuous, you just have to con uh, change the summation sign to int integral sign. Uh, but we're not going to focus on that too much today. Let's okay. Oh, a, an example is the mean, a mean of some sort of values of x, right? So the mean is defined to be the expectation of x. So which in, which in case we're going to be doing x times probability of x, the expectation of x squared is going to be x squared times probability of x. Now just notice that I have not squared the probability. So that's actually a common mistake that people square the probability as well. You don't touch the probability. It just stays exactly as it is. And now we look at expectation of x and y combined, like together. Expectation of x times y, I should say, not x comma y. So that's uh, that's going to be x times y times probability of x and y occurring together. Now a few formulas that you should remember is, the, first of all, the variance of x and the covariance. So the variance of x is expectation of x squared minus expectation of x squared. It's x notice that there's a difference this is the expectation of x squared which is inside the brackets and now we square the mean okay so you can replace it this with mean and the covariance is expectation of x times y not comma sorry is uh, minus expectation of x times expectation of y okay now that's just the formulas let's go through some examples okay so uh, okay so this, this is what I have uh, so I have a probability that's given so this part over here will be given to you in, in, in a question. So I'm telling you that the probability of x and y happening together right here is 0 0.1. So the probability of x being equal to 1 and y being equal to 2 simultaneously is 0 0.1 and the same way 3 and 7 is 0 0.2 and so on. Okay, And just, just, just as a check, you need to understand that this has to sum up to 1, in which, case, in which this case is, uh, it is. Okay, uh, doesn't apply to x and y's. Okay, let's get started with trying to find the mean. So, what this is saying is that the probability of x being equal to 1 is 1. So, we're going to go the x value. We're going to multiply it by the probability. Okay, so uh, so that's that. And we're going to just going to drag it down. Okay, now just notice that the x being 4 is weighted at 0.7. So, there's actually a bigger chance that we're going to see 4. Now, if I just average these three values, uh, I'm I'm just in fact I'll just do that average um, so equals average of these three values is going to be is going to be 2.6 uh, but over here the average is actually just a sum of the probability times x in this case is 3.5 and the reason is because zero Four is weighted more because it has a thirty percent chance of occurring than uh, three or one. Okay, and the same way, if I do the probability of y, the expectation of y, which is actually the mean. Uh, again, what I had to do is I need to multiply my probability by my y value. So again, dragging it down. Oops, that should be that should be simply the sum. Okay, so it's going to be two point three. And again, uh, so this time. This time with the y's, the reason that it's not, it's actually 7 is because the 7 kind of, yes, there's only a 0.2 chance of, of it happening, but because it's such a big number, it's kind, kind of outweighs the one, the, the y values of 1 and 2. Okay? Alright. Um, so, p of x squared. Okay, so now the, this is where things start getting a bit tricky. Alright, so the reason that I'm even calculating p of x squared is because I need the expectation of x squared. So, so this thing over here is expectation of x squared that we're calculating. So again, it's just a probability. So you don't do anything with the probability, but you times it this time by x squared. Okay? So that's that's your that's the value right there. Drag it down and again sum it. So when you sum it, you will end up getting that value over there. I'll do the same for, for y squared. So it's a probability times my y squared. The 
and I'll drag it down, sum it up. So just dragging it across is the same as copying formulas, okay? So I'm just summing these values. Now the reason that I'm, why am I doing this? The reason I'm doing this is to get my variance of x. So the variance of x is simply equal to my expectation of x squared minus my mean squared. Okay, so remember from the formula that I had, it was expectation of x squared, so this, what we, this thing over here, minus my mean squared. All right, so there you go, the variance is 0.85. And the variance of y, in the same, in the same manner, is going to be 10 point, uh, so I should say equals 10.9 minus my mean squared. Okay, so 5.61. So that's actually got a higher variance than my other values over there. Okay. All right. Uh, now, the last thing that we're going to do is covariance. So to do covariance, I need to calculate my expectation of x, y. And, and the same principle, all you're going to do is going to go the probability multiplied by this time x multiplied by y. Okay, so it's a, exactly the same method. All you're doing is this, whatever is inside here that they ask you to find, you're just going to go probability times whatever the function is inside there. Okay, so there you go. And again, the sum is going to be the summation of that. So the, so the EXY is 7.2. Now my covariance of X comma Y is expectation of XY minus expectation of y multiplied by expectation of x Oops, and that's it okay and that is a negative value and that's and that's perfectly fine so it's saying that when x goes up y has a tendency to go down it's, it doesn't always happen but that is a tendency uh, just remember that variances of x can never ever be negative but covariances can okay so covariance can be negative but not variances all right so just as a just as a refresher uh, to get e of x y, it was simply a matter of going. Sorry, covariance was e of x y minus uh, the expectations uh, multiplied, right? So if you, if you compare the if you compare the uh, if you compare the two uh, two things over here, all I've done is the x squared. One of the x's I converted that into a y, and again the, one of the x's I converted that into a y. Okay, so you, you, technically you only need to remember one of the formulas. Uh, that's it for the this this session so if you have any questions or comments let me know but thanks for watching